Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I wanted to continue my series on luxury handbags or even items that I would love to get in the future. These are just things that we're contemplating right now. They're not on the to buy list yet, but we are thinking about them. And today we are focusing on the fashion house of Hermes. If this is the first time you're watching my channel, hi, my name is Amy and I hope that you love my content. I'm gonna get started with handbags and the very first handbag that I wrote down that would probably be the top of my list would be the Birkin 25. I'm gonna insert a few pictures of a few different combinations that really caught my eye. I don't even know exactly the prices of these items. I'm basing it on Fashion File or uh, their online store if it's available on their online store. But obviously with the Birkin as well as like the Kellys and the Constances, they are not available online. They're not available even if you go in person, you might not be able to get offered one but we all can dream. So my very first pick, and if I can ever get my very first bag from Hermes, it would be the Birkin 25. I don't think I'll go any bigger than that. I don't think I have a need for it. Um, I don't think I'll ever use an actual Hermes bag for work, so I don't actually need the larger sizes anyway. And I think the 25 is such a cute, but still day to evening, size so i would be happy with the black and gold or black and rose gold i think it would look so stunning very neutral black and gold you can never go wrong and as a most basic neutral i think uh for such an expensive signature bag i think it would be probably like the best combo to get at least for me if i were to ever get it in a color i would get it in the beautiful togo rose pourpre and this one was priced on Fashion File at 15,000 plus. So it is really expensive. Um, but like I said, if I can ever get my very first Hermes bag, it would be the 25. And it would be probably in Togo leather in one of those neutral, either black or gray, or a very bright fuchsia color. The second one that I wrote down on my list is not the Kelly, but the Constance. So the Constance is just their crossbody bag, but you can also double up the strap and wear it as a shoulder bag. I think it's just a classic, really minimalist, but you can still tell from afar that it is an Hermes bag. Not that I care that you can tell or not. I just really like the clean lines of it and the beautiful H hardware. I do prefer it in the small size. So it is the 18 centimeter size that I really like. I just think that proportion wise to even the body of the mannequin, I just think that it looks amazing. So I found a few colors combination on Fashion File. Uh, but these are not exactly the ones that I would probably end up with because you just never know which one you get offered. Hopefully I will be able to get offered in the retail boutique because I do prefer these things brand new. I want to be the one putting the wear and tear in my bags. I really do like the aesthetics of it. I really do like the size of it. Um, I like that the strap doesn't have any hardware on it, so it's going to be super comfortable. I actually had a chance to try it on very briefly, my friend's, uh, my friend's one, and I believe she does have the size 18, which I thought was perfect on my body frame. I think she had it in the, uh, in a grayish color, so I think it was the Etoup, um, can't remember exactly, but very, very pretty. My number three item is not necessarily a number three item, but it's just another option to the Constance. And that is the mini sac rouli. It's another crossbody bag from Hermes. Not quite as popular as the Constance, so it's still really, really nice. It's still really good quality. And the uh, closure mechanism is a little bit more simple and actually can probably fit a little bit more because of the closure. The flap just slips under the hardware, which is very nice because you can kind of uh cheat a little bit with the space inside i think it's very clean line again very kind of uh if you don't know hermes you just don't even know this bag if that's you know maybe something that you want to go for or an option that you have never heard about the fourth option that i wrote down is the lindy i know it comes in several different sizes um many different colors and I personally am really attracted to the smaller sizes. So I know that they have this mini size that's new-ish. I believe that's the 20 centimeter, but the 26 is probably a more universal size. Honestly, I don't really know which one I would go for more. I think the 26 is beautiful because it's a shoulder bag. It is a bit larger, but 
it just looks really cool that it slouches and that it's actually big enough to fit quite a bit. I'm definitely attracted to the size 26 because it just looks like a very functional everyday sort of bag, even like as a work bag if you don't need to put a laptop in it. But the size 20 is just so so cute and I'm really into mini bags myself. It is more of a crossbody bag as far as I can tell from pictures. Like I said, I, I don't know a whole lot about Hermes but I do keep an eye open, I do watch unboxings and I do read about their leather so I have a bit of an idea, I just don't know everything from the fashion house. Um, just from pictures, I like these two sizes the most. If anything, I think the 26 is probably a safer choice but the 20 is just so cute. Finally, my fifth choice is the Kelly bag. I guess it's lower on my priority list because I think personally I prefer the Birkin look. I just feel like the Birkin is more, it's just a little bit more casual but can still kind of look a little bit more serious depending on how you dress. With the Kelly, it definitely just looks more serious, it looks more put together. Um, there's also the fact that the closure of the Kelly can get a bit annoying, at least from what I can judge. Uh, it does come with a shoulder strap which is a great option. It's, uh, it's always good to have a shoulder option where the Birkin doesn't have. But I feel like if I'm gonna get a Birkin, I'm gonna I'm just gonna work it. I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna get used to the fact that it doesn't have a shoulder option or a crossbody option on the Birkin. So it's not even a thing. Like I, I don't even think that I'm gonna be bothered by it because I'm choosing the smallest size anyway. So I'm not really gonna, uh, you know, I'm not gonna overload. I'm not gonna make it heavy anyway. So that's my reasoning now. We shall see when I actually and if I actually get to that point of getting one. I'm not exactly sure whether I like the retourné style, which is folded in the seams, or the cellier, which is stitched on the outside. So a lot more structured, a lot more kind of squarish looking. I'm not even sure which one I prefer. I think I like both aesthetics. And again, it will really depend on which Birkin I get first. If I already have a Birkin, then I would, probably wouldn't mind getting a Solier in the uh, Kelly. Next on my list, the Evelyn in the Très Petit Modèle, so TPM. I'll probably go with just black because it's just a very casual style. It's just a very kind of like, not throw around, but like, you know, it's just a very casual going to the grocery type of style uh, or going to the park type of style. And it's a tiny, tiny little bag. Uh, I'm definitely not really that attracted to the style itself, especially in the larger sizes. I just find it so casual and it doesn't actually look good to me, but I really like how cute this, the mini size one is. So I don't mind the mini mini one because I think with the mini one, you, it just it just looks cute. Um, so I, I'm actually open to owning the Evelyn in the most tiny little style possible. But even in the TPM size, it actually fits a lot because it's kind of like a little black hole. The next one that I wrote down is the Gige Clutch. And it's kind of like very far down in my list just because I like this one that I saw on the Hermes website. It is in croc leather, in black croc leather, which is the reason why it's 24,000 Canadian. Uh, it's just beautiful. I like how simple it is. I like just the simple clutch look. I know it barely fits anything. It'll fit your very essential like card holder, phone, lipstick type of thing. So it's just a nice to have item. It's definitely not a must. Um, I just really like this combo of the black crocodile and the black sleek leather uh very understated but if you know Hermes, you know if you don't you don't and i i like that about it and i think that this black and i want to say embossed but it's actually black crocodile just looks exquisite how are you guys liking my list so far anyway i'm gonna continue but with accessories next on my list i wrote down the oran sandals Again, with luxury footwear, it's a hit or miss. I would definitely need to try this on. I hear very, very nice reviews from certain people and very bad reviews from others. It really just depends on the individual. Hopefully they will fit me, but if they don't, not a big deal. I just wrote it down because I do like the aesthetics of it. Um, I would 
you know, just love to have a pair that's white. I have a pair that's black or gold. Their gold color is just really their tan color. Um, but black and white would probably fit like 99% of my wardrobe, which is perfect. These are priced at 810 Canadian dollars plus tax, obviously. So they're not too bad. Any luxury slides, they're around this price range anyway. Next I have on the list is the Oasis sandal. So similar to the Oran sandal, the block heel version. I kind of prefer this over the sandal version, although I just don't know which one will be more comfortable. Technically, I like the look of the heel version more, but possibly the sandal version is I mean the flat sandal version is more more of a walkable shoe again depends on when I try it on I would again love to have it in all three colors if possible but at the very least maybe a white I just think white in summer looks amazing and these are priced at 930 Canadian dollars. Next on my list, I wrote down the Kelly belt. I just want it in black and gold. Nice classic looking belt that doesn't scream any logos, doesn't scream any sort of particular fashion house even. If you don't know the brand, you just don't know. It just looks like a very beautiful belt. I love the fact that it's adjustable. So it's just a very beautiful belt that I feel like I should have probably added this on my collection before uh, instead of the belt kit that I own. Um, that's the only Hermes item that I have in my collection, the belt kit, the 24 centimeter, and I love it, but it's just not as, um, it's not as versatile as this Kelly belt in my opinion. I feel like this Kelly belt, especially with my, you know, more broadened knowledge now and the fact that uh, my aesthetics is you know, I want to be able to mix and match and shop my own closet. I feel like this belt will go with any other bags, any other brands of bags, any other outfit. By the way, if you didn't know, with this series, I started off with Louis Vuitton and then I had my Chanel one and then my Dior one and then now it's my Hermes one. So if you haven't checked out the other ones, I'll leave a link up here for you guys to check it out. But my next category, so my second to last category is costume jewelry. I decided not to look into their fine jewelry because again I don't know the brand very well and I'm not as interested in the aesthetics of their fine jewelry personally but in terms of their costume jewelry their leather bracelets are very attractive to me. In general bracelets for me um, are usually too big for my wrists so even with this um, Chanel bracelet it's it's like the only bracelet that fits me because this one for some reason I think it's part of their permanent style uh, you can hook it onto the smallest smallest setting it's not even a setting it's actually where the bracelet ends and it kind of fits me and I like how it drapes similar to this one this one is just a um, really nice princess cut bracelet in uh, a crystal with uh, sterling silver so I love these because they they do look good on me but most mainstream sizing don't fit me because most mainstream uh, bracelet or cuffs are usually around six or seven inches wide uh, in terms of sizing and my wrists are my wrists are like four and a half inch or something. I, I, I don't remember, a 13 centimeter basically, that's my size of my wrist. So I find that a lot of costume bracelets don't work for me, but the leather versions of Hermes do work for me. The Kelly Double Tour or the Rival Double Tour, the extra small or the double extra small, I think. I, I don't quite remember this. Is it T0 or T1? I don't know. It's just their smallest size possible. I know that that one fit. With the Double Rival, you can also use it as a choker. I've seen it on Eileen. She uses hers more as a choker rather than a bracelet. I'm also interested in the CDC, but not the thick one. So their original is the really thick one. They have a new version, which is 24. I think it's 24 millimeter wide. That one looks really pretty and I'm hoping that once I see it in person or once I try it in person that it will fit my wrist well because I just love the chunky look but I just cannot pull off their regular sizing. Pearls are very classic, very feminine looking. I think when you want to go for a more grungy, more edgy look, the leather bracelets from Hermes just look Amazing. At the very last, I'm gonna finish up with some home 
uh, decor, I suppose. These things are very, very bougie. I don't even know if I'll ever even get them, but they just look very nice, especially I feel like if I uh, were to redecorate my entire place or at least redecorate the living space or even the bedroom, I would totally get these. I wrote down this Avalon small pillow as well as the vibration throw blanket which is made of wool and cashmere they were actually quite well priced for what they are for the pillow at 680 canadian dollars i thought it would be a lot more and then for the throw it's 1750 canadian dollars obviously plus tax i know that a lot of people buy these to uh make their quota for in the hopes of getting offered a bag hopefully i don't have to play that game because i just want my bag even if i were just to get offered one bag for my entire life which would be the birkin 25 i just i just want the bag i really don't necessarily need everything else and even if i were to get anything else it would be something from this list none of these are particularly easy to get aside from maybe the evelyn and maybe the lindy if it's available but other than that all the other ones i'm pretty sure they're still quite hard to get we can all dream and like i said it's good to have goals and it's good to have a list that you can kind of refer back to later down the down the line and you, of course you can always revise it but i just like having a list so that at least if i happen to step inside um, as let's say when i turn 40 that would be a wonderful gift to have when i turn 40 for my first bag um i just feel like it's good to have you know a, a list to work with or at least to kind of stick with the items that you initially thought you would love next i will be revising my actual wish list for 2020 and it will be kind of based on all the items that i've discussed from all these four brands so hopefully you guys enjoy the series or this video if you found any of this interesting or my content interesting or you found value in this video please give it a thumbs up and also if you're brand new to my channel i would love to have you back so please do consider subscribing liking and commenting down below to let me know and also what do you guys have from Hermes or what do you guys wish to have if you don't have anything uh, what's your number one one thing on your uh, wish list. It doesn't have to be a bag, it could be an accessory. But uh, I would be so curious to know, are you guys Team Kelly or are you guys Team Birkin? For usual, I always link everything that I'm wearing down below, so please check it out if you're interested in any of the things that I'm wearing. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope that you guys have a great day ahead of you or week ahead of you. Please stay safe and I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!